Sometimes I forget that I am unforgettable. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Who am I again? The following may sound incredible, in the sort of insane way that no one believes, not the wonderful kind. But I affirm that everything is true, except when it isn't. But don't worry, I've noted the places where my wayward imagination interrupts the narrative, more than already is interrupted by fact. Oh, also, I lie a lot about my code of ethics. I'm pretty honest about that. Lastly. Don't underestimate my ignorance is vast, all-encompassing, and altogether omnipotent. Turned 26 two and a half months ago, I figure it's time to document non-events and non-happenings that make up life. Getting older every year, gleeful that fatal affliction affects everyone except Holly Berry, who utterly fails to age and bitter. Unashamed to imitate George Saunders because, well, George Saunders. I've never kept diary because I already mentioned that I have nothing to say, but now I decided to say it. I lie on food logs for dieting because I feel horrible at actual amount of food intake. Feel bad again to remember, so、I、plan to avoid problem and not keep food log at all and just eat. Eight months ago, scoured Craigslist for roommates. Looked through posts to make sure potential roommate BFF isn't creepy serial killer type. People sound nice. Rent too high so far though. Uh, the various postings mentioned below are cobbled together from memory because originals have been taken down. Excerpts from a post, take one. I'm a very neat and clean person, but some Thursday nights I'll come out covered in blood. Oh, oh, don't worry, I'm fine. Oh, and you should know I have a sleeping disorder in which I often sleepwalk. I've been told that I go to people's bedrooms late at night dressed in a Jack in the Box costume and stare down silently as they sleep. I hope that's okay. Uh, but besides the above, I don't think I'm difficult to live with. I look forward to hearing from you. Hey, I'm renting out a room, nicely decorated and furnished with a twin size bed. Don't be worried by the hot monitors nearby. It's my great grandmother's hospital bed, and I think maybe she died in it. But I washed the sheets and fluffed the pillows, so it's all good. Oh, oh, I have a collection of certain tropical reptiles, including four anacondas, that wander freely around the house. So if you have pets, make sure they're small, lovable, and non-aggressive. Smoking and drinking are strongly discriminated against here, but drugs are okay as long as you share. Friendly reminder: Watch out for the giant pineapples on the couch. Those can be a pain in the ass. Mom and Dad are mostly nice people. They're kind of mean to each other. Utterly confused by daughter's swirly non-linear life trajectory. I help extended family as twenty-four-seven tech support. Spend hours telling aunts, uncles to turn off computers, wait three minutes, and then turn on again. Cannot get them to understand that the weird ticking sound in hard drives pretty much means game over. Also, is your task manager window freezing is supposed to be a play of irony on the part of Microsoft? I still remember the horror of the moment when my sister Easter cruelly informed me that Misha Collins was not a sexual orientation. What? Misha did a spoof of Harry Met Sally, infamous scene, playing Sally. I still can't determine whether he's having an intense orgasm or a serious asthma attack. But either way, his acting was awesome. Sometimes I think about stupid little things I've done in the past. So just the time I put on what I thought was face cream, but then my face was still dry. So I put on more face cream, and then my face started to peel in strips, and then panic. So I finally read the label, and it was exfoliant. Uh, yeah. And then today, yes, just today, five eleventh, two thousand fifteen, I walked home in the rain to get my umbrella. Yeah, well, well, it made sense at the time. Don't judge me. And、uh, yeah, now I have grown my hair long, and I can tie it up. In sunny SoCal, there's a night's beach. Cool waves lapping up on the shore. Children playing in the sand. Surfers doing knee tricks in the water. I am not at that place. Instead, froze in Midwest winter for the sake of my education. A guy like my nose now is gone. Have conviction that as long as they don't know the actual temperature, we'll survive to freeze another day. This idea has proved successful so far. Speaking of education, I was in a class in which the teacher wanted to know why, in my paper, I referenced someone citing Foucault instead of citing Foucault directly. 
told him with great academic integrity that was because I didn't understand Foucault when he was quoting himself. As finals week approaches, I realized that one of the reasons I haven't finished my writing assignments is that I haven't started. I guess that's kind of an obstacle to getting it done. Oh, and things you don't want in an essay. A faulty conclusion based on assumed premises supported by inaccurate proof. Wow, I came up with that all by myself. I can't work productively unless I have distractions. For example, while I'm supposed to be doing research, I Google, I feel lucky and come across an article titled, A Huge Asteroid Nearly Misses Earth. Yeah, almost, <laughs> but not quite. I don't think the title means what the writer thinks it means. This is a legitimate, respectable science website, not The Onion. Oh, oh, stop me if you've heard this type of dialogue before. Insert quote quote hero. If you hadn't killed my, insert dearly beloved, we have gathered here today a person, he or she would still be alive. Insert villain, quote quote, da da da, well, yeah. Uh, Morris when attempting to socialize, i.e. actually interact with other members of the human species. Like that awkward moment during the last Christmas season when... Me. That's an awesome ugly sweater! Person. It's not an ugly sweater. Ugh, living in a vacuum sucks. I recently tried going to a bar with some people. By with, I mean followed in after complete strangers. Not a very successful kind of failure, actually. Uh, stand around, sit around awkwardly and dr drink. Little bit. Ugh. Couple nearby kissing passionately, starting to look like cannibalism. Uh, Notice women at bar, looks like the result of tractor fraternizing with bulldozer. Guy with goatees comes to say hi. Cannot stop looking at goatee. I'm strongly opposed to relationship with men who are gay, have excessive facial hair, clear has something to hide like his face, or married, or all three. Uh, mumble nonsense and roll up eyes in crazy fashion until a guy with goatee eventually goes away. Note, my eyes have this weird tendency to roll up when I'm in stressful situations. True story. I am sadly single and on the prowl for a loving partner. I've never been romantically involved through no fault of my own. I have no idea why I'm alone. So apparently I talk to myself a lot and this is probably not news to everyone who knows me. But hey, I hold up my end of the conversation pretty well. If I do say so myself.